<clears throat> Supervisor Farrell. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Colleagues, today I am introducing an ordinance to amend what has to be one of the most outdated laws on our books, a ban on storing anything in our garages here in San Francisco other than automobiles. This legislation came directly from constituent feedback on a new, more user-friendly platform for our city's charter and codes that launched recently called SanFranciscoCode.org. SanFranciscoCode.org was launched in partnership with the OpenGov Foundation, a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit dedicated to holding all levels of government accountable and our Mayor's Office of Civic Innovation. SanFranciscoCode.org is part of a broader initiative that first launched last September with the OpenGov Foundation that sought to bring San Francisco's laws and policies directly to our residents. This new civic engagement tool put our city's laws and policies in a more accessible and modern format that brings down the barriers to accessing, understanding, and navigating the laws of our cities. We do live in the global center of technology and innovation here in San Francisco, and I believe it's incumbent upon everyone here in City Hall to find ways for technology not only to impact our residents' daily lives, but also drive further civic engagement. The law I'm inter introducing today is very simple and straightforward. We have a law currently on the books that states private and public garages shall be used only for the storage of automobiles. This law doesn't make sense, it's outdated, and certainly discriminatory towards bicyclists and other people that store personal items in their garages. This outdated law came to my attention directly from a constituent in District 2, Gary Rabkin, on the recently launched SanFranciscoCode.org website. Gary left a comment on the website stating that this new law, or this old law rather, was discriminatory against bicyclists and didn't make any sense in a city that's trying to encourage alternative forms of transportation. And I fully agree. So the simple law I'm introducing today to the outdated housing code will allow for the storage of bicycles, scooters, and other personal items in residential garages. I have to admit, I personally haven't broken this outdated law for years. I'm also announcing today that my office will be teaming up with the OpenGov Foundation to co-sponsor a civic engagement challenge here in San Francisco with participating education, undergraduate and graduate institutions here in San Francisco in February. The civic engagement challenge will ask students at these participating institutions to focus on policy issues that matter to them and to submit ideas for new policies, laws, or updates to outdated policy and laws here on the books in San Francisco. We'll be partnering with an often underrepresented and often unheard voice here in City Hall, our city's youth. The best submissions will be selected to earn scholarship funds to be used for the purpose of educational costs. And I've also pledged to introduce the winning idea or ideas here at the Board of Supervisors, so long as it's based on good policy and something that will benefit everyone here in San Francisco. By promoting the civic engagement tool, SanFranciscoCode.org, my hope is that more San Francisco residents will be able to interact with our local laws and not only find glaring faults like the garage law I'm updating today, but also suggest thoughtful solutions to more substantive issues that we face every day here as a city. Essentially, we're presenting an opportunity for our residents to engage with city government in a way that works for them. I hope you will join me, the OpenGov Foundation, and many others in supporting technologies and tools that aim to benefit the public good and increase civic engagement here in San Francisco. The rest I submit.